show is cooking. All right, now before we go any further, ladies and gentlemen, something happened uh, on this show last night involving Andy, and uh, I really thought before we continue with the show tonight, we should talk about it. Well, you, mean, you mean the Larry King thing? Yeah, yeah. Now, what happened between you and Larry King, really, it defies description. So uh, now to clear it up for anyone who didn't see it, we're gonna show it to you right now. Dana, roll that clip of last night. Uh, get a little history. Pay attention. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I come here, he sits, he's a mute, okay? <laughs> Be involved, all right? Hey. So before the show, he said he has nothing to do tonight. I have emotional problems. <laughs> Thank you. We didn't want to bring that oh, up, Larry. What a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are we shocked by that? I got yeah. a great idea. We're going to do a show. Okay. I'm going to have both of you on together. Oh, that'd be nice. And we'll talk to a star and a sidekick, okay? <laughs> star, sidekick, okay? <laughs> this show is a step up. Right? Yeah, yeah. So I come in, I meet a Neanderthal. And he's, hey! he's proud of it. He's proud of it. You don't really need him. <laughs> no, you are a star. What exactly does he do? You want to know what I do? This is what I do. what you did was right but oh yeah but we're being sued like crazy yeah. yeah we actually have to reattach that man's head it's not the first man I've killed <laughs> and it won't be the last all right ladies and gentlemen at 13 years old my first guest tonight is starring in the professional it's a great film take a look at this clip Leanne what exactly do you do for a living cleaner you mean you're a hitman yeah. Cool. Wow. That is some entrance you just made. Oh, thank you. Not right. many guests come I'm out here up. skipping and waving. Uh, <laughs> Actually, Larry King. Yeah, Larry King entered my daddy. He did the Look same thing. <laughs> That's right. Look out for Andy tonight. He just rips get guest heads off. It's very ugly. Yeah, just don't turn your back on him. Okay. How are you? Congratulations on the film. Thank you. 13 years old. That's pretty impressive. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, it looked actually it looked kind of uh, fun because you get to shoot a lot of guns in this movie. Is that fun? Um, I don't know if you'd call it fun, mm -hmm. but it's. When I was 13, if someone said, we'll pay you, we'll give you a bunch of really expensive <laughs> guns to run around and shoot, it would sound really well, fun Well, to the me. guns, they're not real guns, they're just fake guns. Well, I would hope so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, they have these fake bullets, and then they come out, when you shoot it, they come out the side, and then this, like, flash of fire comes out the front. And they're really heavy, and they look like I think like those guns. are real guns. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, and they, they kill look... <laughs> people. They're incredible. No, no. But no, they're very sophisticated. No. But I'm, and... I'm, I'm very good with guns. <laughs> you are? No. All right. Very good. Oh, high five. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, uh, so... <laughs> Andy was just reaching for your head, and then he backed <laughs> off. <laughs> Whoa. Guns. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, but you had fun uh, making the movie. You actually used smoke in this movie, too. That was just fake cigarettes. They had, like, m menthol cigarettes. Mm -hmm. And right. um, I just, like, put it to my lips, and they're like, cut, because I don't like smoking. Right, I right. Made, I, made well, Jean, I made Jean Reno quit smoking. Oh, really? Your co-star? Yeah. You made him quit? Yeah, I made him quit. You make him fo smoke the uh, fake ones now? <laughs> no, I make him smoke nothing. Oh, really? How'd you Excuse get him to do that? That's really hard to get people to quit smoking. I told him it was disgusting. <laughs> and, and uh huh. It's just, and it's, I told him that it's not safe for people around him, and it's not safe for him, and, and that's it. <laughs> right. And right. you should have said, and I'm, I'm going to walk off the movie unless you stop. <laughs> no, I, I got him to quit after the movie. Oh. Because well, it's just, too much yeah, stress, yeah, you He's know? actually a scary-looking uh, guy. He's the guy who we just saw in the he's clip. He's not scary. He's not scary he's not at all? Scary What's at he all? like? He's really nice, and I, I like being around him because, you know, he's, he used to smell like, you know, cigar smoke and mm -hmm. um, coffee mixed together, and it's like a real cozy smell, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so so you nice. liked that, but then you made him quit. 
That's very well, confusing mixed message you're sending him. <laughs> I love that smoky smell, but quit smoking. I hate it. No, it, see, it smells good, but it mm -hmm. makes him, you know, it, it's not good. You know, it makes, you know, his kids, it's not good for right, him right. to smoke Right, right, just not a good kids, thing at all. Right. Bad. Right. Yeah. Smoking. We were getting a lot of money from the smoking lobby this show until you I'm came sorry. on. We ruined the whole thing. <laughs> now we're through. So you got to make this movie. You're 13 years old, and they shot it in France. France. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. So it did you get really to miss good. any school to do this? Um, I got to miss like the last two weeks of school, but two it, weeks. Well, yeah. oh, they, they shot we it did in the summer. Oh, what a ripoff. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I had to make it all up. So. Oh really? You had yeah. to make it up. Yeah. They I had, had one of those tutors. Yeah. So you're in. How did you like France? Um, it was really, really great, but and and the people were like really nice, and I was really confused because everyone said, you know, the people are so mean, and the food is really good, and I don't like the food because I'm a vegetarian, and everything's like rabbits and frogs and. Right, <laughs> and they don't even cook them; they just have everyone just has a rabbit. Well, they're just actually, biting they, into they it. Have, they have, so they have real, they have raw steak. Raw steak, that's yeah. a big thing over there. Yeah, yeah, and it's not. Nice looking. It's like it's it's like you know that chopped hamburger meat. Yeah, it's yeah. really disgusting, and people just like eat it. Wait a minute, smoking's bad. Raw <laughs> steak is no good. You're crazy. <laughs> You've lost your mind. Well, I'm sorry. No, I'm so sorry, but, I won't but lose you're, my head. Yeah, <laughs> you're two of my favorite things. Yeah, smoking, that's raw and raw steak. meat. <laughs> I'm set for a day. So. Andy always has a cigarette in one hand and a rabbit in the other, and he's just <laughs> so. Uh, and do, and uh, Larry King's head between his legs. <laughs> You just got Andy into the National Enquirer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, step us, step we, aside, Marlon. <laughs> <laughs> we've, been, we've been trying for a long time to get him in there. <laughs> One fell swoop, you did it. So uh, how's, uh, how's school going for you? You're still in school it's right really now. It's really great. I have, I have so much work right now. We have all these reports and and we have regents at the end of the year. Well, and can't you get like getting your agent involved and say, hey, look, you know. <laughs> no, no. I, I really need an it. Right now, I'd like to send a message to my teacher, my social studies teacher. Please, can I have an extension? I really need an extension because I had to come here and I had to work over the weekend and I have this big report due. Uh huh. And I'm just dying. You just want, you want an extension very bad. Did you tell her to watch the show tonight? Him. Mr. Finkelstein. Oh, Mr. Finkelstein. Well, at, when is this thing due? What, what is it exactly? It's, that... it's um, a social studies report. We had to choose a topic from our chapter, and I chose women um, reformers during the Gilded Age. And <laughs> I'm 31. I, I couldn't write that. And um, well, you research it, obviously. And. Uh -oh. um, <laughs> Yeah. To me, that to me that always meant just going to the Encyclopedia Britannica and just like tracing over <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Gilded Age. <laughs> no. The teacher would say, "This has been traced. You actually included the photograph from the Encyclopedia Britannica, you idiot." Uh, so, so you want an extension? Is this actually a paper that Andy and I could help you write, maybe? Um, do you know anything about Elizabeth Cady Stanton, Ida, B. Tar Ida M. Tarbell? Well, that's actually Max's uh, area. <laughs> <laughs> that's, everyone on the show specializes in a different field. Max is women of the uh, Gil is it Gilded? Gilded Age. Oh, thank you. The Gilded Age. Uh, the horn section handles uh, the whole reform movement in the early 1920s. <laughs> Andy well, here is, uh, you know, studies uh, the distilleries of the 1850s. <laughs> and, uh, Whiskey ring. Right. And I supervise everyone else. I was really good in gym. So, uh, yeah, it was yeah. incredible. <laughs> so, uh, so, but school's going to, I heard you had like an outbreak of some kind at your school. Yeah, we had an epidemic of um, stomach viruses and like 15 people um, got the stomach virus where they would throw up every 10 minutes. But all at the same second? Yeah. Incredible. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It knocked and, down a wall, I Yeah, understand. and yeah. I, I didn't get it because I was doing, I was doing a job, I was, um, Doing British, v British, no, not British, Italian Vogue, mm -hmm. and so I missed it. So Which one, British or Italian? It's important. Italian. To know. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh huh. So you were. That's that's nice, actually. Yeah. That's nice that yeah, you can. You yeah. model too, then? No, I was. It was. Oh, for, just an it was Promotional, yeah. Okay. Wow, that's really great. So you got to miss the the vomiting. I missed the vomiting. Yes. Good for you, man. <laughs> You've got a keen sense of timing. Thank you. you. Missed the right thing. Well, this is exciting for you. Are you doing it? What's your next project then? I don't know. School. School? Yeah. 
All right, oh. we'll get you out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to me and Andy. Uh, and uh, I should mention uh, the professional is out now. It's everywhere. People right. can see everywhere. this. Everywhere. Is it strange see for you it. to see yourself on, on TV like that? Yeah, I'm like, you know, I mean, I'm like no, flipping the, the channels, trying to see something, and I'm like, ew, it's me, and I'm changing it. <laughs> <laughs> Healthy self-image. <laughs> All right, well, Natalie, it was very nice meeting you. Nice You're a very nice too. person. It Thank was good you. to have you here. Thank Thanks you. for coming. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. But before we do, a word from Aviance Night Musk Cologne by Prince Machabelli. It's dangerously sexy. <laughs> yes, give her Aviance Night Musk. It'll make her go from this oh, oh, oh. to this. Uh -huh.